Die, space creatures! Die! Die! Oh. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you? My name is Erica. Welcome to my room. Playing games in Erica's room! Um, yeah, I was just sitting here playing with my Nintendo 3DS system, as seen here and also here. Yeah, so if you guys don't actually know what the Nintendo 3DS is, I don't really know how to help you, and I don't really know why you're watching this video. But if you do, you have to know that this thing is fantastically awesome. It actually does work, although I wouldn't recommend turning the 3D mode on for young little children because we don't know they could end up cross-eyed like this, and that's actually not very cool at all. No proof. We're just saying. So I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of reviews on this thing and you know, what the looks like it's all 3D and such and you can use these cool augmented little reality card things. But how many of you guys actually know how this works? Hmm? One thing you should know is that the 3D effect is usually achieved by wearing these crazy looking ugly 3D glasses and it's done by two different colors that you can see here. That usually one is red and the other one is either like a cyan or a green and it works as a color filter. So here are our 3D glasses and as you can see there's these blue squiggly lines and they pass through the lenses and they stand for blue light. Now those red squiggly lines are red light. Now on the red side of the lens here only the blue light will pass through which will end up masking the red and this way you will only end up seeing a blue picture. On the other side, only red will pass through, which you end up only being able to see a red picture because the blue light is now blocked. So together, you end up seeing that you have two different wavelengths, which gives you two different pictures. As you can see here, you have a blue side and a red side from slightly different angles. That's what ends up looking 3D. You can see the final product by looking at this. This is how the brain is able to actually separate out those pictures. The brain combines those two pictures together and you get this fantastically fabulous looking Easter basket thing. Yay! I don't get it. What's the 3DS doing then? There's no blue and red. All right, all right, hold on. I was just about to explain. Don't get your panties in a wad. So... What? What? Magical tension clothing. Oh, kind of cool. I swear I was just downstairs. I think I'm losing my mind. So, just as we had seen a second ago where I had shown you the color filters with the 3D glasses, the 3DS works a similar way, except for it does something that's actually called a parallax barrier, which, uh, if I can show you, here, hold up your finger, like this, and hold it close to your face. I'm serious, come on, do it. Yeah, hold it like this, and close your right eye and look at your finger with your left eye, and now switch. And don't move your finger though. And kind of do it back and forth. Now if you can see, it looks like your finger is actually switching. Like back and forth like this. So your brain is actually taking two separate images as you're looking at it with both eyes and it's putting them together. Now for demonstration purposes, this is our brain. His name is Steve Swanson. He says, hi, by the way. Sip. So here's our Nintendo 3DS and here is Steve's line of vision. So the parallax barrier on the Nintendo 3DS works as a system of microscopic mini blinds. So those microscopic blinds will actually aim light only in one direction towards, you can see, that red color coded eye. And they will do the exact same thing as you can see towards that yellow color coded eye. In conclusion, the parallax barrier allows us to take two separate images that are slightly different for each of the eyes to see. And that way the brain will mash them back together and it will look 3D without the need of any type of life filters whatsoever. Awesome, isn't it? <coughs> see, I told you the 3DS was the coolest thing ever. Now if I can just make heads or tails of the manual. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't already done so already, please visit my Hey It Could Happen channel where I have really crazy videos and stuff. And if you are on that channel right now, awesome! Continue to join me and distribute stuff in my little box that I have about yay here. Okay? Thank you! I love you guys! Bye!